Hey there, Gemini. Okay, so this is a timeless reading. We want to know where the money is. What's going on? Okay, let's see. Let's see what the challenge might be for you guys. The challenge might be for you. It might not be for you. Let's see what we get, though. Is a general reading. Just take what resonates with you. We have the anchor. Okay, maybe someone feels stuck at this time. Someone might maybe wants something more long-term. Uh, you know, maybe this could be a job you feel better in or something that, you know, more stability. But you might feel stuck. Yeah, there's something flaming this. So there's something, um... It almost feels like there's something aggravating something here. I don't know if you got someone, like, pushing your buttons. Ooh. Yeah, someone's being sneaky. We have the fox. But I see you with the rooster. You're watching the fox. This fox cannot get your hens. The fox is, is realizing that you're on to them, I think. So they might be trying to get around. Get around you. Get around something here. Okay. So let's see. Why is the anchor here? Yeah, the five of swords. There's someone trying to deceive you here. And you don't, I don't know, I just feel like you might be in an environment you just don't trust the people around you. If maybe you like the work, but you don't like certain co-workers. And there might be a certain person that likes to push your buttons because they just like to do that. They're just an idiot. <laughs> Plain and simple. I'm getting energy. So someone just is obnoxious. No, I can't even say the word. And um, they just like to push your buttons. One of those people, I just ignore people like that. They could go play with themselves. Uh, don't bother me. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ooh, we have here the King of Wands and the Eight of Wands. And we have the Ten of Wands. Either this there's something coming towards you, some kind of invitation or information or something. It could be coming from a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it could be that you're the King of Wands here. You might be getting offered a position of, you know, a higher position here, but you're not sure if you want the responsibility of the Ten of Wands. Ah. It's like, if you're not going to treat me right, why will I take on more so that you could do more? It almost feels like, yeah, it might look good in my resume, but... How long can you can you do it for a while and then leave? Or uh, so it feels like someone's like, okay, you're not trusting this position, you know, because this is like, okay, maybe this is a boss as a fox, maybe that's who it is. I don't know, but there feels like there's something coming towards you an offer. But you said, you know, usually when ten of wands comes in, it's like the end to burden. So you might be getting an offer from another business, another opportunity, another job, another company, or this could be within your company. They want to give you a raise or they want to give you a promotion, but is it worth what they're offering? I don't know. It doesn't feel like it to me. Let's see about the fox. You just don't trust this. I don't know. I think you like the work though, but not, not the situation or the place you're in or something like that. The people. And especially that one goofball there thinks they're so smart but they're really they're really they're really not smart at all <laughs> so we have here yeah ace of swords you're going to be speaking your truth and you're probably going to cut this out i think the challenge is to find you're looking for another position and you're waiting for that to come in and you might say you know what why would i put more eggs in the basket that is not very secure here i know exactly what they mean by that that's what my guys are saying. Yeah, why put more eggs in that basket? Put the, your eggs in another basket. Even if you put it, like you start something slow someplace else in your own business, you might be better off slowly giving to that so that you could gradually move yourself on from something. Okay, let's see what happened in the past. Oh, wait. I gotta do these. I keep on forgetting to do this deck for some reason. Okay, so we have Widow. Yeah, you might be saying goodbye to something. Something might have ended here. You're just saying, you know, I'm done with this. 
I'm gonna feel like you know I I gave it my best shot. Now I'm done. You're mourning in it and moving on. For some of you. And we have here love. Yeah, there's something about this job you love though. But oh, let's see, one more. two here we have falseness house yeah see because there's something about maybe the company itself we're going to take the house as a company unless you're you know or, or this could be something is this a family business there's someone that's not being true you're going to get to the truth you're going to get to the truth of this the house could be something if you're working out of your home maybe they're not telling you things are happening at the office or there's some kind of falseness here and it could be dealing with the business, but we could take the house as maybe the business as a company, or it could be people in your house. Maybe it's something going on with the family for some of you. It might all have to do with the, something of a family situation if you're not working. Maybe you're, you know, you're retired or something, and this is something you're doing within the family that they want maybe you to do more. And you say, well, why should I? You know, why should I take on that responsibility? Okay, let's see here. And like, we'll give you a little bit. Mm, but it doesn't seem like enough. Let's see about the past. Yeah, there was some kind of breakup. Something happened here. Something just did not work. Something just sunk. We have there's because of a letter, because of information, because of communication. Something might have got leaked out that actually was bad for the company or bad for something here. And it could come from upper management here, the king. So if something happened, maybe some the king got in trouble here, the upper management, the masculine energy, or just there just could just be the boss, the boss in general. Something could have came out or something. Something was exposed. Something was leaked. They had to maybe break up a department or get rid of a department or something. Something was exposed, I feel. Let's see about this breakup. Let's see. We have the King of Cups. This could have been a Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. And we have the two of wands that put someone in a crossroad to make a decision about something here. Someone had a, something came out, something was revealed, and someone had to decide. Even if they really liked this person, they might have had to get rid of this person. They might have did something that was not good for the company. We have here, yeah, this is to keep everything going here. Four of wands to keep the family together, keep everything happy. Someone had to be let go, maybe. And maybe you're not too happy with the way they did things. Almost feels like for some, it might have been that they use this person as a scapegoat. Let's see. Something shocking, though. Something that someone didn't expect here. Just came out of the blue. We have here, misfortune, some money. So, someone, yeah, so they, they might have fired someone. So someone lost some money here because they lost their job. The misfortune. Okay. Hopefully they got a better job. We have a lover here. Okay, so we have a lover. There might, yeah, someone might have been, you know, maybe having an affair within the company and that's not allowed. We have a lover. And they let him go. Something came out. It felt like something scandalous came out. We have here, yes, yeah, someone um, might have went to talk to someone about this. And they're saying your best bet is to get this person out of the, the environment. This could be... You know, this is a mentor. This is someone that went to talk to someone. This could be, this could be someone's priest or somebody's rabbi, or or it could be a therapist. But someone went to talk to someone about this, and that was the solution. Okay, now that's not going to be for everyone, of course. Let's see what's happened with you in the present, because the past is the past. It's done. But now let's see about the present. We have attack. Hmm. 
surprise attack. Someone might be trying to attack you. Someone might be going to surprise you. We have here abundance. Ooh. Okay, you might be surprised. Some kind of abundance is coming your way in the present. Yeah, this is um this is a blessing coming in for you. You're not seeing this. It's gonna come out of the blue here. You're not expecting it. Okay, so let's see. Blessings. It's like hidden. It might be like someone's helping you on the side here. You can see how you can't see this person's face or anything. But, you know, they might be coming in with some kind of blessing for you. Something unexpected. We have here, this is the Two of Swords. You might have to make a decision here, too. At a crossroad, you need to make a decision. Not sure what to do. But we do have abundance coming in, so that's good. The Empress, wow. We have the Empress on abundance. Okay, so that means big time money's coming in for you. I don't know where it's coming from. Leave a Taurus energy with the Empress. This also could be if someone wanted to get pregnant, then that would say that, yeah, this is a sign that you might be pregnant now or about to be pregnant, or you might hear about a pregnancy. But I feel like the Empress is the most abundant card in the deck. So I feel like you're coming into financial abundance at this time. Your creativity is probably really good too. Because uh, the Empress is very creative. Creation, you create a baby. So there's giving birth to something new here. Maybe you're deciding which way you want to go with something. We have the tower. This is might shock everyone here. Aries, um, Scorpio energy with the tower. Okay, so let's see. About this attack, the two of swords. Something unexpected makes you make a decision. Yeah, someone might have stole something here. Someone's trying to get away with something. Maybe someone did attack you and, and that put you in a better position to, for your abundance. It's sort of like, you know, flip the tables or something. We have here a letter. Something about a letter. Communication. Bringing in money for you. It might be an offer. It might be a, a job. And we have the baby. Yes, there's something new here. Whatever this is, it's bringing in something new for you. We have baby surprise. It could be some, I mean, we have the Empress and we have a baby. Someone could be pregnant. And that could be a surprise. Um, that's not going to be for everyone, of course. Of course. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in the future. Oh, yeah, there's some news coming in. Some important information, some kind of news with the writer. Someone being very innovative here. Oh, we have loyalty around you. You're going to have some, some news is coming. If you're going to a new company, you're going to have a loyal group around you. Someone you could trust, not like the old group. Yeah, and you're going to be getting recognized here. This And use your intuition. Strong intuition. So use your intuition. You might be um, receiving some kind of... There might have been something hidden, but something might be coming to light here, too. Let's see about the rider here. We have the Ten of Cups. This happiness around the family, the home. This could be good news coming towards your home or coming towards your family. And um, it could be a new position or money coming in or something's happening here. Okay, the dogs. Let's see. We have for the dogs, we have the nine of wands and we have the hermit. Yeah, this is my, you might be, um, you've been through a lot here. But now you, I think people might know that you've been through a lot. And maybe you sort of like keep them to yourself. But people respect your privacy if that's what you're doing. Virgo energy here at the Hermit. Or you might be seeking something. Seeking some kind of information. But you might be, you know, have your guard up a little bit. But I think people understand that. You might be keeping something close here with the moon here. Keeping a secret. We have here the Queen of Wands, but yeah, I I would say with the Moon and the Queen of Wands, you might actually be getting a lot of attention here. People like your work. They like what you do. You're standing out. 
you're a go-getter, a way shower. You know, you do you do a really good job. Or you can also be getting attention because you're very attractive. Um, and also, it's just the way you do things. You're very intuitive. You do things in a very intuitive way. Okay, let's see here. You trust your intuition. Okay, so we have here the judge. So someone's judging something here. There's there's some kind of information coming in to do with the family, the home, and it might have maybe a judge ruled in your favor with something. It was something to do around the home, the family, or you have to make a decision. Or you might be you know trusting someone's decision to judge something, or the courts, or whatever this is. Let's see, we have here. There's jealousy though. Okay, so we have jealousy around maybe your friends or. Or maybe someone's jealous that you... I don't know why. This, this sounds really weird. But someone might be jealous that you're able to just keep to yourself. If that makes sense. Maybe these people like to be in everybody's business. And you just stay to yourself. And they're jealous that you do that. They want to know probably. Let's see. We have here. Sweetheart. Okay. So we have here. Yeah. You might have someone that's very sweet on you here. Sweetheart. Someone is very attracted to you. You're coming across as Queen of Wands. So you're very attractive. You're getting a lot of attention here. So you will be get maybe that's why someone's jealous. You might be new in the group, or new in the company, and all of a sudden you're standing out. So someone's getting jealous of the attention that you're getting, and you more or less keep to yourself. It's not like you're looking for it. It's not like you're bragging like this nut up there. It it's not like that energy at all. Okay, let's see. Um, what's the important information for you? We have spaceship. You might be traveling. Going on a trip. Yeah, someone might be it, coming in and, uh, with an offer here. Someone might be wanting to ask, ask you out, take you somewhere. You know, go on a date, travel somewhere. It might be, you know, a distance. And this is going to surprise you. You're not going to expect this. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, it's a page of pentacles here. So someone might be coming in with an offer here. Um, they might be younger than you. They could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. could be anyone. Yeah, they're coming in with... Okay, this is going to lead to something more. You, There might be a business offer coming in. It might seem small at first, but it's going to be very lucrative here. We got the um, page of pentacles. It's going to shock you looking good let's see here we have here the king of pentacles yeah this could put you in this position or this could be coming from a king of pentacles it might be coming across as a page but it's actually if someone's offering you something as far as a business they might be like introducing you to something and then seeing how you you do but they have bigger plans for you they have a better position in mind and also this could be saying that you're coming as king of pentacles which is you know financially secure here it's a job that pays very well. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, Queen of Pentacles. We have the Empress here. So you're definitely coming in some money here. Okay. There's offers coming in. You've been through it. You know, I think the universe is going to be paying you back. You're getting your rewards. We have, yeah, fortune. Look at this. This Whatever this is that's coming in is going to be bringing it in a fortune. You might have to travel for it. Or you, you might be going on a trip. And we have your officer. There could be something official about this. We have an officer here. It could be something with the government. And we have... Yeah, you're getting a message here. This is going to surprise you, this message. Maybe from this King of Pentacles or the position this puts you in as far as being a King of Pentacles. Well, after you get this surprise message. Okay. Now... Let's see about the advice for you guys. Okay, something about the house. We have cats. There might be someone around your house that you have to be wary of. You might not be able to trust them.
Yeah, someone is up to something here. There might be some kind of temptation with the snake here. So watch out for a temptation. I think someone's trying to trick someone here. Now, it's not going to be for everyone. So let's see about it. something to do with around your house. It could be someone that lives in your area. Or it could be someone in your family, in your house. Let's see. So we have here Six of Swords and Knight of Cups. Okay. You might be, there might be someone coming towards you or some, or you, you might be moving away. Someone's moving away from something, something better with the Six of Swords. You might be changing where you live here. You might be selling your house or you might be moving on. Um, we have the Knight of Cups coming in here too. There might be someone coming in here with a love offer. Could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay, why do we have the cats here? Okay, two again. We have the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Someone might be... I'm oh, sorry, not. It's Eight of Swords. I don't know why it's the Knight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Someone's stuck in their head about something here. Um, yeah, you have here options and choices, but you don't trust it. And I think it's good reason for you to not to trust it. Because there's someone trying to deceive you somehow. So be careful. Whoever that's meant for. So what about this temptation here? We have a Two of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Okay, you're going to be weighing this out, trying to figure out what to do here. You might be multitasking or someone's trying to multitask. But with the King of Swords, the King of Swords wants the truth. So you might be getting to the... This might be also something official here that you're trying to figure out. Let me get some more on this. We have here, this is unexpected joy so whatever's coming in here to your home you're moving away from something and it's gonna make you very happy maybe this this knight of cups makes you very happy okay okay we have loss yes yeah, see these cards here there's something you're worried about losing something because you're not sure you don't want to make the wrong decisions because it might cost you whatever that means let's see here and we have merriment okay but in the end it seems like you're gonna be okay i think someone is either helping you here this could be a judge this could be a lawyer this could be an official person Someone is helping you to make a decision here. And in the end, you're going to be happy. So I think you're working through something that could have been disas disastrous, but is not. Because you're getting help. Okay, now. Let's see about the possible outcome. Oh, happiness. That's good. Surprise, happy. A gift might be coming in for you. Someone might, might be wanting to give you a gift. We have here because someone maybe been ill or feeling down. And there's something about rats. Someone trying to deceive someone, trying to get over. We have here but the heart, but there's happiness coming in here. Someone trying to come in. There's they have a lot of feelings for you. I think whatever's going on, it seems like it's gonna work out for you guys. What about the happiness gift, the surprise? What's going on with that? We have the strength. Could be a Leo. Someone's coming in. Is trying to give you strength. If you're feeling really down or you've been tired or something, someone's trying to come in to cheer you up. They know you've been feeling down or been going through something here. We have your justice. Yes, because they're putting an end to something here. Someone is bringing, you know, almost feels like someone might be feeling sick or stressed out. But someone's coming in. There's some, I feel like someone's trying to help you here. There's an end to this. If there's an illness or there's, you know, you're sick or something, coming to an end. There's justice being brought into a situation. What about the rats? Let's see about these rats. We have the Three of Cups. Yeah, someone could be partying or something or... Um, we have a page of cups. Someone's coming in with a cup of love. You don't see this coming. Yeah, someone might be having a good time partying here. And maybe it's not really 
is costing you, is stressful. It might be, you know, if they're over partying or something here, it might be costing you somehow. But it's causing you the stress. It might be causing you the stress, but someone's putting an end to this. That's why the justice is here. Okay. We have widower. Okay, someone might be, um, maybe someone's sad because they lost something here. Someone is missing someone or something. But someone's coming in trying to make them happy. And we have here, yeah, someone's been sick, been feeling really down. Okay, and okay, what about this? I think because there was a loss here. We have marriage. Okay. And we have hope. There's hope coming in. There's love. There's someone actually wants to marry you. Someone might be asking you out. I, you know, we got the five here. There's change, right? And I think someone is... I want to know more about the rats. Let's get more on the rats. Why are the rats here? This could be stress. This could be loss. This could be theft. Let's see. Why are the rats here? So we have here the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Wands. I need one more. And we have the Page of Wands. Bottom card here. We have the Four. Someone might be okay. I think there's someone trying to sabotage. Because this sometimes could be a third party. There's someone trying to sabotage a new relationship that you have coming in. There's someone that wants, you have options, you have choices. Someone wants to fight for this connection. Have a page of wands might be coming in with a message for you. They might be trying to reach out to you. So that's what the rats is. Someone doesn't like the fact that you probably are moving on, going to someone new. And we have here the four of pentacles. They don't want to let you go. So what? that's what's happening there, guys. I'm going to leave it here. And, um... Hey, let me know if it resonates. I'm not doing any of the extras with this these readings here. Just I just want to strictly stay with the money I did, and and I also don't want to do the signs, bring the signs into it in this one. Um, so yeah, so let me know if it resonates. But thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.